Okay, to start off, make sure you have your screen, frame, a utility knife, spline, springs, if that's how you're going to attach them to the window, pull tabs, corners, and the screen roller. Let's get started. If you're going to be using leaf or tension springs, insert one of each spring into each side of one of the frame pieces, usually the top frame piece. In this example, we're using leaf springs, so on the opposite end of the frame, we're going to insert two pull tabs. You won't need to do any pull tabs or leaf springs if you're using any of the other mounting methods that we have available. Now we'll assemble the frame using the four corner pieces that come with the kit. Double check to make sure that the spline channel is on the inside of each frame piece all the way around. Before moving on to the next step, it's very important you make sure that the frame will fit in the window. If you need to make any adjustments to the frame size, now is the time to do that. Find a large flat surface and lay the frame down. We don't show it in the video, but it's super helpful to tape down each corner using masking tape. This helps keep the screen from sliding around while you are working on it. If you are using a center bar, Now's the time to connect it by sliding in a center bar clip into each end of the center bar frame piece. Then attach the center bar to the frame as shown. If you're not using a center bar, get a book that's about the same thickness as the frame and put that in the center. Then roll the screen out on top of the frame, making sure that there is at least one half inch excess screen material beyond the spline channel on the back of the frame. Smooth out any waves or wrinkles with your hand and then find an object that's about the same size and weight as a gallon jug filled with water and set that on top of the book. This will help keep the screen tight while we roll in the spline. Using the non-grooved edge of the roller tool, start in the center on one side of the screen. Again, starting in the center, Roll the screen into the spline channel toward each corner. We're not rolling the spline in yet. That will be the next step. After completing one side, go to the opposite side of the screen and do that as well. Finish this step by doing the other two sides. Remember to start in the center of each side and work toward the corners. We're not rolling in the spline yet, just putting the screen in the spline channel. Using the grooved edge of the spline roller, starting in one corner of the frame, Roll the spline into the spline channel. Proceed all the way around the frame, completing all four sides. You do not need to roll the spline or screen into the crossbar. Using the non-grooved edge of the spline roller, go around the frame one last time to be sure all the spline is fully seated in the spline channel. Once that is complete, trim the excess spline with a utility knife. Finally, trim the excess screen fabric using a sharp utility knife. Be sure to trim at a 45 degree angle just above the spline. Your screen is now ready to be installed.